for those who don't have any experience of B Corp, what it is, is it looks very much in depth at a range of different business impacts. So there is governance, which looks at your policies and your structures. It looks at workers and how you uh, work with them. Broader community, which is split into another there are a variety of different areas, so things like working with your uh, charities and communities, uh, sustainable procurement and how you deal with equity, diversity, inclusion. Uh, environmental issues, how do you manage your footprint uh, and how are you working with that? And then last but very much not least is customers mm -hmm. and how you work with them, how you support them and keep them, um, provide them with the best service. The median company has a score of 50.1 and the requirement to get to B Corp is 80 points and that's no small challenge is it really no, it's not no, I mean how was okay. your experience of that because <laughs> there's a whole piece in terms of even working out how to go about constructing that isn't that there's uh, a huge piece around that. how was how was your journey to actually even approaching the assessment so we were really fortunate to have Verity Slater um, partner and board member who is a real force of nature mm. um, was he able to sort of cement our approach to the BIA um, the assessment framework that you yeah. need to um, take part in to, to, to certify um, and yes it's challenging um, it's all about having baseline data yeah. um, and as a law firm we had quite a lot of that data which was fantastic and we've done things like times um, 100 top companies to work for for about seven consecutive yeah. years and we had our e, uh, employee ownership structure which gave us lots of content for for workers and engagement um but but the reality of some of this and and we i've seen it on some of the programs that we've supported such as the b23 in cornwall that's doing that alongside the day job yes um and so you'll be doing the impact assessment alongside you know everything else that you're managing within your business um and so i think it's about Firstly, breaking it down into chunks and, yes. and using the tool, uh, the assessment framework, um, kind of downloading it, getting it offline and, and into a manageable document that you can share yeah. across your organisation. Because the more you can split that down and then have a, methodolo a methodology mm. as to how you build it back up so you're really clear about the baseline data. Yeah. Because it will take you time. I'm not quite sure how long it, it took you, Kerry. It sounds like you... Um, we you know, we well, I think we're probably relatively small, um, and the data they had was fairly simple. Obviously, yeah. slightly only two offices, uh, less to kind of pull together. Um, I think my experience of answering it is you you go through it once, and it's a little bit like a Russian doll, isn't it? You answer one question, and a whole load more pop up. So, actually, a quick run through first time round to get a sense of even the scale of it. Um, but it's really valuable, isn't it? Because it does show you where you've got your data, where you've got your strengths, where there are areas that you might like to pay attention to. And I think that, for me, was the eye-opener of, actually, we do do a lot of this already. It's really lovely to be able to pull it together as a piece, but actually, you know, there are other areas where it would be good to invest some time and effort. And that bit, I think, is the really important bit, which is mm. it's um, a mindset of constant improvement, continuous growth. Um, your certification is not a kind of badge that you can wear and you don't work on. This is about, you know, for the future. So, mm -hmm. you know, being able to sort of bookmark areas that you think, well, we need to plan. Even the fact that you've established you need a plan is a really good step yeah. and will be given credit as part of the process. Um, and the mindset shift that you can have then as an organisation about how you develop goals and how you might think about, you know, doing your areas of your business quite differently or even establishing a collaboration in a particular area to achieve what you'd yeah. like to achieve is so important and I think we we all do that to a degree but perhaps don't drill down enough to understand yes. where the gaps are and I think that's really valuable and I'd encourage most businesses just go to go on and download the assessment tool yeah. and the evaluation tool because that's so useful just go and look just go and have a look because yeah. it, it is as you say it's really holistic it covers all the main areas that as businesses we're focusing on as part of our strategy planning um and everyone is looking at sustainability everyone wants to do generally to do better than yeah. they are and this is a really good way of helping you kind of work out what is achievable for you yes. and, and, and to create a bit of an ambitious mindset within the people that you're working with yeah no absolutely and I think 
I yeah wholeheartedly in, understand that whole chunking things down into manageable pieces. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it does turn into this raft of questions. I know one of the first things I did was set up a document register, which, while sounding very basic, was a lifesaver when it comes to the actual verification process. I mean, how was how did your verification process work? Because I know we were coming through considerably later than you. We've mm-hmm. only just certified. Uh, and so we had a very long, we had about nine months between when we applied and when we actually finally received certification. And during that phase, we had a couple of points of contact with the auditors. So the first thing was looking at our corporate structure to make sure that we were holding the articles of association at the right place, which was one of the key parts of B Corp that encourages you to look at stakeholders in the round. Uh, And so there was that short piece and then there was a number of months before we actually started speaking to the assessors to talk through our documents. So it was, you do have to keep an eye on how you're evidencing things as you go, don't you? You do, because you forget, because it's, yes. it's quite a substantial <laughs> document. So, yeah, an index, as you just said, and a document list, yeah. I think, is really key. Um, but for us, it was a bit of a longer journey. It was about 15 to 18 months. Okay. Um, because of the nature of the work we do and the clients we work with, we we had to go through the controversial industries review panel. Um, okay. So that took a bit more time. They only meet, I think, once every six months. So we, we, okay. had, um, we had a, a little bit more um, work to do as part of that process. Um, but yeah, as you say, it, it really comes down to evidence and actually that's quite a good discipline to have within the business about, uh, not only saying you're going to do something, but living out actually, those values yeah. in, in how you communicate and how you then, you know, share that with others. And that's had, I think, huge knock on implications for our kind of first, uh, year post certification target. So we certified on the 22nd of December last year. Mm. Um, and since then, we've kind of just published our first impact report, which is really Excellent. exciting. Yeah. And that's a really good opportunity as well to sort of celebrate what you're doing and identify gaps for the next 12 yeah. months that you're going to sort of work on. Um, so that constant goal setting and evaluation um, yeah. is is key. Um, but yeah, uh, you keeping that BIA up to date, even after certification is really yeah. important. Just thinking about, you know, what's the next stage that's in that in that journey so that when you do come on to recertify, you're you're already building, um, yeah. building your portfolio, that, for building next that time. portfolio to make yeah. it easier for when you next need to yeah. submit.